Hello, friends. I hope you had a happy Easter. Uh, Lisette and I stayed home on Easter. Well, except for me coming here, of course. And we enjoyed the simplicity of being able to just spend the holiday together, just the two of us. Uh, many of you, I imagine, had a different sort of Easter, uh, different than you're used to, whether uh, due to the inability to go out and see family or the inability to gather here and worship in the way that you normally do. I mean, a bittersweet Easter sounds like it can't really go together. That doesn't quite make sense when the good of Easter so incredibly outweighs the bad. Uh, but I will say, I missed seeing you all this past Sunday. And so with that in mind, thinking about Easter and thinking about worship, I want to read something for you today, not from Scripture, uh, but from the Gospel according to Twitter. These words come from just a regular old person. This is from a woman, a, a reverend, uh, Jess Cast, who leads a congregation in New York City. These are her words. The image I am holding on to. When we get back into the sanctuary, no matter when that will be, that is Easter. Imagine the hugs. Imagine the tears. Imagine how loud we will sing the doxology. Imagine when we say, we got through this together. And then she ends by saying, I cry every time I think of this. Friends, I look forward to singing the doxology with you. I look forward to seeing each one of you face to face. And I look forward to celebrating with you Easter over and over and over again. Remember, Jesus Christ died so that we all may have life. And so uh, the Easter miracle is something that we witness to every day of our lives again and again as God continues to breathe life into what was once dead. So yes, Easter happened already. It happened 2,000 years ago. It happened this past Sunday. And it will happen again the day we are reunited in both body and spirit. Until then, he is risen. He is risen indeed.